Thanks for joining me today. In this Forcepoint Tech Talk episode, we will show you how to use the Forcepoint DOP solution to identify data at rest that resides within SharePoint Online. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or ideas for other videos. Also hit that like and subscribe button to show your support for this channel. Enjoy! The Forcepoint DLP suite includes a component called DLP Discover. This component is used for scanning data at rest. To get started, we need to configure a data discovery task. For this video, we will use the network discovery to scan a SharePoint online site. Let's navigate to Main, Policy Management, Discovery Policies, Network Discovery Tasks. This page will show us all of the network discovery tasks that are currently configured. To add a new task, we will click the New button in the top left and select File Discovery, then SharePoint Task. To configure the task, we need to configure the name, then select the data storage type. In this case, we will select the online data storage type for SharePoint Online. On the next tab, we will input the site root and the credentials that the crawler will use to access the SharePoint instance. When you click Next, the site root and the credentials will be validated. Once your credentials are validated, then you will be on the Scan Documents tab. This is where you can dive into which folder specifically you want the task to scan. Once you have selected which folders, click Next to move on. The Scheduler tab will allow you to configure when the task will run. Select whichever is appropriate for your environment. The Policies tab will define what type of data the scan should actually look for. If you have not already configured the Discovery Policies, then do so by going to Main, Policy Management, Discovery Policies. Once you have selected which policies you want to scan for, then click Next. The File Filtering tab allows you to be more granular in your search in regard to file extensions, file age, or file size. Configure this if it's appropriate for your use case. The Email Report tab will configure the system to send a status notification whenever the discovery task is run. Finally, on the Advanced tab, there are other options related to bandwidth, full scans, and the status email reports. Once you have configured all of these tabs, then click OK and then deploy those changes out. Once these changes have been deployed, then you can refresh the discovery task page to see the status of the scans. The pane on the right side of the screen will show you more detailed information about the results and status of the scan. When the scan finishes, you can navigate to Main, Reporting, Discovery, Incidents to view the results of the discovery scan. These incidents will show you what information triggered which policies, as well as the file name and location. Thanks for watching this Forcepoint Tech Talk episode, where we were able to use Forcepoint's DLP discovery capability to perform a data at rest scan against documents stored in SharePoint Online. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to show your support for this channel. See you next time.